Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Slavin, nutritionist, registered dietitian, and Masters of Public Health. Welcome to my nutrition video series on optimal nutrition. In these 10 videos, you'll learn everything from optimal fats and carbs to sweets and treats that are still good for your health. Be sure to click on the links below. They'll provide you with summaries from each episode with all the nutrition advice that you can use for your healthy lifestyle. So let's get started. Welcome to episode one of a 10 week series on optimal nutrition. Today we're gonna to be doing a little introduction video and a few tips on kind of a nutrition 101 type of thing. We're talking about having a healthy kitchen and that's where, really where it starts. If you have good food around, you'll make good food decisions. So if you wanna take a quick peek into your pantry and your fridge, your cupboards, check out what's going on in there. More likely than not, you're probably gonna see some refined foods, a lot of packaged foods, boxes, cans, pre-made salad dressings, things that we've become reliant on in our North American diet. Unfortunately, these foods are not health promoting and they can drain us of our energy and are not filling us up with good nutrition. That's where the kitchen cleanse or kitchen makeover is an excellent place to start because when you, as I said before, when you have good food around, you make good choices. And I wanna make sure you're on the right track for choosing foods that will give you energy, mental clarity, just an overall feeling of not only surviving off food, but thriving off food. Here, just for example, I have a beautiful array of different fruits and nuts, seeds, uh, some vegetables, sweet potatoes, grains. Uh, you know, it's just a perfect example of what can be in your kitchen. I grab this right out of my kitchen, my pantry, and having these foods around always ensures that I'm making good decisions. So in the following weeks, we'll get into more specifics about healthy fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins that you'll want to incorporate into your diet. Just today, it's more of an overview. At the end of the video, I will be providing you with a PDF uh, link that you can follow up on to learn about how to restock your pantry with what you had to healthier options of what you already had, but better choices. So that grocery list will be provided for you. As well, when you have a properly stocked kitchen, you're gonna probably find that yourself cooking more um, or at least wanting to try all these things, see how you can incorporate them into your life. So it's nice to have a well-stocked kitchen, not only with food, healthy food around, but appliances that will make cooking easy for you. Now I'm not talking about large scale appliances, I'm talking about little things like a good pan to cook with, healthy pots to cook with, um, essential uh, utensils to have, uh, something as simple as a good cast iron pan and uh, pots that are stainless steel are really healthy choices to have in your kitchen. So you might want to take a look again at what you're cooking with. If you're cooking with a lot of non-stick skillets and all this, unfortunately it's not health promoting. I know it's easier to clean and it makes for a fast cooking job, but when it comes to food and health, it's not only about the food you're eating, but also what you're using in your kitchen to prepare this food. So I'll also provide that in a list for you, uh, what appliances I love to use and what I think you'll love to have in your kitchen as well. So really, when you come to the kind of philosophy of eating well in the optimal kitchen, not only is it about what's in your kitchen, but it comes down to the respect you put into your kitchen, the respect you put for yourself, and you want to eat from a place of love because, you know, there's a lot of diets out there or even lifestyles that are being talked about, whether it's vegan or paleo or just uh, any style of really trend of diet that's going out there. And you might jump on the bandwagon or find that something uh, appeals to you, but if you're doing it from a place of, oh, I need to do this because I want to feel this way or I want to look like that or have this kind of preconceived notion of how you should be, it ends up getting muddled in what really good food and eating well is all about. And at the end of the day, that really is just about respecting your body, taking a moment to enjoy the process, make food with love, respect what you're eating, and in turn, you'll digest it better. 
but you'll uh, gain more nutrients and just an overall better sense of well-being when you're eating from a place of love. So I look forward to that journey with you in the upcoming weeks as we dive a little deeper into optimal nutrition. Thanks so much for joining today and look forward to next week. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Optimal Nutrition video series. Don't forget to click on the links below. I'm Jamie Slavin. Thanks so much for watching.